Hello everyone, let's have some fun with this integral here. We have this integral, which is raised to the power of 999. And yeah, so even though um, we can expand this using the binomial theorem, but that's not practical because look at that high power here. So what should we do? And actually there was an easy way to uh, integrate this function. It's really just a simple use up, then we can do that. Okay, so let's get started on this integral. So first, we are going to just choose our u. And actually, we don't have much choice for this problem. So we are just going to let u be the square root of x and then plus 3. OK, yeah. Otherwise, how would you choose, right? So we'll just let u be that. And then what about the, um, the du? The du, it's the derivative of this function here. So we are going to get the n. Yeah, so just think about this. This square root of u is actually can be written as x to the 1 half. So if we are using the power rule, then we are going to get 1 over 2. And then what is that? That's x to the uh, negative 1 half. And then the plus 3, of course, will disappear. And then you are going to get dx here. And then what should we do next? We can uh, solve for dx here because there was no other extra stuff that can allow us to cancel, right? So let's just let um let's just move everything to the other side of the equation so we are going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal okay so we can multiply by uh two here to cancel out the one half and then we can also multiply by x to the one half to cancel out this x to the negative one half and so we are going to get the same thing on this side okay i feel like it's it's getting in the way, so let me just move a little bit of this so that I have more space. Okay, so what's going on here is that we, when we do the canceling here, the one half and then cancel with this thing, and then the other one is the x to the negative one over two will get canceled with this x to the one half. So we are going to just get two x to the one half, and then the du is equal to just the dx. Okay, actually should have used the other colors, right? So we are going to get the 2x to the 1 half and then the du and then the, and then the dx. Okay, so now we are ready to go back and make our substitution. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so going back to the integral, we have the integral, and then now this holding inside the 999 power, this all this stuff, it's becoming the u. So we are going to get the u here. So we have the, um, the u. And then, of course, there was a 999 power, right? That's um, that we have. And then what about the dx? The dx is going to be replaced by this 2 times x to the 1 half times the du. So let's just put it here. So we have the 2x to the 1 half and then the du. Okay, so again, um, we are having an integral with two different variables here, and we need to integrate with respect to u. So we need to turn this x to the 1 half into something, and it just happens that we do have the original u substitution, there was uh, x to the 1 half that's in there, and we can actually solve for x to the 1 half, then we can replace this x to the 1 half with something, and then we can turn the integral into something that's into a function that's just entirely of u, right? Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so let's make our substitution right here. We can subtract 3 from both sides, so we are going to get u minus 3. Okay, so that's that. And then equals the square root of x, which is just x to the 1 half, as you can see. Right? If you subtract 3 from both sides, then you get u minus 3 on this side, and then you just get that x to the 1 half. Now we can make the substitution. So the integral, yeah, we still have the u to the 999 power here, and then times the 2. And then what about the x to the 1 half? That's becoming the u minus 3. So get the u minus 3 here. And then the du. See, now it becomes a integral with just u. And that's a product, so we got to distribute the u 
to the 999 power to the u minus 3, and then we can integrate turn by turn. So it's that simple. And then, of course, the 2 can be moved outside the, uh, the integral. So we don't need to worry about this 2. OK, so we have 2 times the integral of we can distribute at the same time. So let's show the distribution. We are going to distribute this one, multiply with the u, and then also multiply with the minus 3. So we are going to get what? We are going to get, let me just use parentheses. We are going to get u to the, um, when you multiply the 990, u to the 999 times u to the first, it will give us u to the 1000 minus, and then negative three times u to the 999, we get minus three u to the 999. Well, actually, that's quite simple. We can just use power rule to integrate those two functions. So let's do that. OK, so integrating using the power rule, we are going to get u to the 1001, right? We are adding 1 to it. And then we multiply by the reciprocal of this number, which is 1 over 1001. And then minus 3 times, uh, what is that? That's going to be u to the 1,000, right? You add 1 to the 999, then you are going to get the 1,000 here. Reciprocal of this new power, so we are going to get 1 over 1,000. Yeah, so that's finished. Except that, of course, yeah, so we need the plus constant right here. And we can get the plus constant here. And then, of course, we can now distribute a 2. So we are going to get 2 over 1,001. But you know what? At the same time, we should really put this square root of x plus 3 back into the u. So we are going to get the square root of x plus 3 into the u, so we get that raised to the 1,000 first power, and then minus. And then let me see what's going on here. Um, the 2 times the 3 times the 1 over 1,000, the 2 can, you can reduce the fraction with the 2 and the 1,000, so we are going to get 3 over. And then divide top and the bottom by the 2. The 2 is gone, and then the 1,000 becomes 500. And then there is this u here. What, what about the u? The u is going to be the square root of x plus 3. And then raised to the 1,000 power. And then plus c. Yeah, by the way, if you're wondering what's going on here, how we how we can get that, it's it comes from distributing 2 times 3 times the 1 over 1,000. So we are going to get 2 times 3 times 1 over... 1,000, and then see that once you put everything together, it becomes obvious what's going on. The two can become a, the two can become a one, and then the 1,000 can become a 500. So eventually, that's how we got the three over the 500. And then of course, there was a minus sign. Okay, so that's it for this problem. This one is actually quite fun, right? Um, <clears throat> It's a simple use up and can actually help you integrate something that um, if you are not using the use up, you would have to use the binomial DM to expand this. But it's going to be terrible, right? If you look at the power here. But this one, we just get the answer easily. Okay, we'll do more problems like this next time. Thank you for watching. If you like my channel, if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and then help me give me some support.